Amen. Glory to God. Make Amen. sure you play this on your website. Amen. Tony Harvin. Make sure you play this. 23rd chapter of Psalms. How much time do I have, brothers? We covered so many areas. 23rd chapter of the book of Psalms. I'm beginning at verse 1. At verse 1. Everybody all right? Amen. All right. Come on, son. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Now, this is a scripture that many billions are familiar with. That's right. But the only time it's read is when they're walking a body to the grave. Yes. Yeah. Or at a funeral. Mm -hmm. But if they had the understanding of the scripture, it would not never be read at a funeral or a burial because it has nothing to do right. with that cause. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my guide. That's right. And if he's the shepherd, I'm the sheep. The Lord is my guide. When the sheep get out of place, the shepherd Right. Pull them back in to keep them on the pasture. That's right. The Lord is my shepherd. Is my shepherd. I shall not want. It's a beautiful thing to have the Lord as your shepherd. Amen. And you can say, I shall not want. Amen. Well, some say, Well, how can that be, brother, when I know the Lord is my shepherd? Yet there are things that I want. Mm -hmm. Well, when it says the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want outside of God. Right. Who can supply your need? That's right. That's right. So all my want, mm -hmm. my greatest of wants mm -hmm. is in God. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. Listen. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. Green pastures is a place where there's plenty to eat. So if I'm in church, it has to be plenty of food. Amen. Notice it just didn't just say pastures. It says green. Green. Green, wholesome, wholesome words, something that's good and nourishing to the body, that the body may develop and grow. That's right. Green pastures, a place where sheep can come, amongst a shepherd. That's right. And eat plenty of food, but in the midst of eating. There got to be a wolf. That's right. There got to be a predator to come among the sheep. That's right. And the predator can be male or female. Amen. Shouting or sitting. That's right. Speaking in tongue or can't speak at all. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. There can be a wolf in sheep clothing. Camouflage. That's right. To look like the sheep. And when the sheep go through the pasture, the wolf that's camouflaged in sheep clothing will come to. That's right. That's right. Inwardly. Listen. In Matthew chapter 7 and verse 15. Inwardly. Inwardly they are ravening wolves. Inwardly they are raving wolves. Beware of false prophets. Beware of false prophets. Which come to you. Which come to you. In sheep's clothing. In sheep's clothing. But inwardly. But inwardly. They are ravening wolves. They are of the devil. That's right. False prophets. false prophets. A false prophet. A lot of folks say, well, he's a false prophet. That's a false prophet. Do you, let's just define false prophet. That's right. Do we know what a false prophet is? A false prophet is one whom God never called or sent to preach ever. That's right. He took it upon himself and just took off and went going. God never dealt with him. God never spoke to him. He took it upon himself. To make himself a preacher. And then blame God and say God did it. That's right. False prophet. Prophet means messenger. False prophet. False messenger. Mm -hmm. 
Listen. Back in Psalms 23 and verse 2. All right. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Yes. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Place where there's good to drink. That's right. You got to have still waters. Living water. What do you mean, lead me by still waters? He set me in a place where I can have peace. In my life, still waters is peace. Trouble waters, there's a lot of activity in the atmosphere that causes disturbance in the water. Glory to God. If there's no disturbance in the wind, the water is still calm, peaceable. That's right. Amen. All of us will have trouble water. That's right. That's right. There will be a time that you will have trouble water. That's right. And most of your trouble will come from your own. Amen. When I was in the country, when I was little, I haven't went fishing since I was seven years old. My brothers in Alabama have been promising me to take me out on a boat and drop me in the middle of the water. It's not like I'm going to be able to run back on the water to get ashore Amen. and go fishing one day. But I remember when I was on the banks on the farm, we would get a flat stone, throw it. You can see it skim the water. Just skip it. But it disturbed every part that it hit. That's the way people are. That's true. Some of us, if we didn't have some people in our lives, we would have a life of still water in that area. I said in that area. Because if you would have still water in that area, somebody else gonna bring trouble from another area. And they're gonna drop less like a stone. But even all trouble water eventually. Come to a calm. That's right. Is that right? That's right. Talk to me. Right. All trouble water come to a calm. That's right. Oh, glory to God. Jesus said, Peace be still. Wind cease. Water cease. That's right. What do you mean? Jesus? What does the wind mean? It is written the prophets are wind. Why well, the calmness of a wind and the calmness of water? God, through his spoken word, can make your enemies your footstool. When the wind blows like an open mouth. That's true. The Bible said, for so it is the will of God that you put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. Then the Bible says in the first chapter of Titus that the mouth of the gainsayers must be stopped. <laughs> then calm will come in your life just for a while. That's true. Huh? That's right. Just for a while. Maybe a week, maybe two, maybe a month or two, maybe a year or two. Amen. And the same one that brought trouble in your life, somebody going to bring trouble in their lives. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Listen. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside he leadeth the still me. waters. Beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Restoration takes place. Amen. Ain't got nothing to do with a corpse. He restores my soul, Lord. I feel like I'm falling apart. That's right. Excellent. Feel like I'm being dismantled. And when I pray, it's like you're nowhere. Amen. Amen. My soul need a restoration. That's right. Amen. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. 
This scripture here have nothing to do with a funeral or burial. It is a state of being in the life of one that strives to walk with God. It is a state of one that seek deliverance. But it is the lowest state in their life. Amen. This is the lowest state that you can never get to in life. Amen. Keep reading. He restores my soul. If you was already all right, you wouldn't need restore. No. That's right. That's right. You don't need restore if you're already all right. Amen. Excellent, sir. Excellent. Amen. Who in here doesn't need restoration? Amen. Amen. Oh. Satan is like rust on a car. <laughs> Start eating up the car. That's right. Spreading. And that's the way Satan is. He's like rust. Decay. And sometimes we sit back and allow ourselves just to decay. That's right. Or our socializing with others that's right cause their junk to rub off on us so the virus that they carry now i got it evil communications yes. like a cold yes. now i got the same junk you got that's right and now because of you i'm all bound that's true. All messed up. messed up. Because who I socialize with. That's right. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Amen. Then the book says, awake righteousness. to righteousness. Not. That's what he said. Glory to God. That's right. Everybody all right? Yeah. Let us all look at ourselves by what he's reading. Amen. He was and see, have you ever experienced this? Mm -hmm. Because as I'm telling you, it is a state that you don't want to be in. Huh? Amen. It is a dangerous state. Yes, Listen. He restores my soul. He restored my soul. He put my spirit and mind back in check. I can feel myself reviving. That's I can right. feel myself coming back alive. That's it. And when you feel yourself coming back alive, don't let nobody kill you all over again. That's right. Talk to me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Listen. He restores my soul. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. He leadeth me in what's right. For his name's sake. For his name's sake, mean to live thereby. Amen. See, the name of Jesus is beyond just it means to save. That's the right. name of Jesus is the act of God. That's right. Why? If the name Jesus means to save, saving is an act. So the name Jesus is the act of God. In the name Jesus must be mastered. That's true. In the lives of his people. That's right. When you say, I love his name. Yeah. What, 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 what do you mean? I love his name. The name Jesus is the common name. That's right. You can meet a lot of Spanish people with the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. yes. Loving his name, but yet hate your brother. That's right. Love his name, mm -hmm. but hate your sister. Your Love his name, Amen. but lie on your sister. Amen. Love his name, but backbite your brother. That's right. You love his name. Mm -hmm. You don't love his name. No, no. no. Are you listening? That's right. Listen. He restores my soul. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. What? Yea, oh, I walk. Here it is. Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. 
Yay! Though I walk. Though I walk through the valley. Through the valley of the shadow of, of death. the shadows of death. That's Hold right. up. That's right. <laughs> valley. Valley. Lowland. Low Amen. So I'm brought at a low degree. That's right. And I'm among the shadows. Shadow of death. Of death. Of death. Mm. Something. When you have shadows, shadows. Mm. you have light around, mm -hmm. but there's something blocking the light and it's causing a shadow. That's right. That's right. To fall upon me. That's, That's right. right. I know the light is there, but there's something blocking the light. Amen. And it's causing a shadow. But to me, it's the shadows yes. of death because my circumstances now got me fighting with spirits. That's right. That's right. When you fight with people, it's not the people. Amen. There was a woman that followed Paul. And yet what she said was true. That's right. This is the service of God that do the works of God. She said truth. True. It's true. But it wasn't truth from God. No. Because it grieved the apostles. That's right. He grieved. Paul said he, he says he turned mm -hmm. and said to the spirit. To the woman. To the spirit. To the woman. To the spirit. He turned and said to the spirit that was in that woman. I command thee in the name of Jesus. I command Christ. thee in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, come out of it. Come out. That's right. Come out of it. That's right. I'm wrestling with the shadows. Of death, the sting of death is sin. That's right. So now, in the midst of adversities, in the midst of that low degree, mm -hmm. there's a shadow cast. God is there, but your circumstances as is, as as an eclipse. That's right. When the moon come in line with the sun, Amen. change the whole atmosphere of the earth. Right. A shadow is cast yeah. upon the earth. Right. Amen. Climate is changed in the earth. Amen. When circumstances come in your life, it alter the climate. That's right. Or the atmosphere Amen. in your life. Yeah. Shadows Shadow of death. Of death. Yeah. Shadows. Amen. Sometimes people cast a shadow. That's true. Can't make no headway. That's right. Can't pray. Why? You in my ear. That's right. Yeah. Can't fast. Why? You in my ear. Amen. Amen. You keep bugging me by leaving the church. If I leave, where I'm going? That's right. And where you want me to go with you at? That's right. Are you going to offer me something better? Do you have the word yourself? Amen. Do you have the word? That's right. And if you got it, who gave it to you? Amen. When did you get it? Mm -hmm. How long have you had it? That's right. Amen. You're casting a shadow over me. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. Do you hear the Bible? Psalms 10 and verse 8. He sitteth in the lurking in places. In the lurking places. Of the villages. Of the villages. In the secret places. In the secret places. Doeth he murder the, the innocent. Do he murder the innocent. His eyes. His eyes. Are privately set are against privately the poor. privately set against the poor. He lieth and waits secretly. He lieth and waits secretly. As a lion in his den. As a lion in his den. He lieth and waits to catch the poor. He lieth and waits and catch the poor. He doeth catch the poor. Now listen. Mm -hmm. We ain't talking about naturally poor. No. The Bible said about Jesus, for our sake he became what? Became poor. poor. That we through his poverty might be rich. Might be rich. That's right. Poor is not talking about lack of money. Man, when you come to the house of God, you don't come to hear how preacher tell you how much money he got. No. Cares how much money he got. That's right. What profit is that? Amen. Man, when I come to the house of the Lord, I don't want to hear no brother about how much money you got. I don't give two cents how much money you got. That's right. Don't care how much money you got. Don't care what kind of car you drive. Don't care what kind of house you live in. Give me green pastures. Yeah. That's right. Huh? Yeah. 
That's right. Give me green pastures. Amen. Amen. Words of eternal life. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. 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 If you talk about how God bless you, fine. Mm -hmm. If you boast in materialistic things, vain. vain. That's right. It's unprofitable. Amen. Listen. Back in Psalms 23 and verse 4. What is it? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. What's there? I will fear no evil. Ah. Amen. While you're at a low spiritual state, don't hardly, don't even know the last time you even felt the Spirit of God. That's right. Don't even know. That's true. There ain't nothing wrong with God either. That's right. Just sitting. Want to feel God and can't. Amen. And then some is so messed up, they really don't care if they don't. That's true. When you become that in concern about your spiritual well-being, Amen. Then ask yourself what stage you're in spiritually. Yeah. In the valley of the shadows yes. of death. Some valleys are a cemetery. Mm -hmm. Listen. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and I will fear no evil. No evil? No evil. You mean to tell me you're in the valleys of the shadows of death, mm -hmm. and yet you won't fear no evil? I will fear no evil. Everybody all right? Yeah. You ever been in a thunderstorm? Oh, yes. In a bad storm in an office building, the lights go out. Mm -hmm. They have what is called a backup generator. Mm -hmm. And then they got like emergency lighting. That's right. This is what you got to have. That's right. When everything in your life look closed, <laughs> you don't feel the presence of God. It's like you don't hear from God. That's true. Those that used to walk with you now walk from you. Amen. Your only backup generator is that you got to believe God. That's it. That's the only backup generator you have. That's right. You have to fall back on the one that brought you into the world. That's right. Sometimes you can run to your brothers to encouragement, but they'll turn on you. Sometimes. Sometimes you run to your sisters for encouragement. Besides encourage you, they're going to judge you. That's true. That's right. So now you got to look to the hills. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. You have to look to the hills from which cometh your help. That's right. Unto My help. Coming from the Lord. Hallelujah. Come from the Lord. That's right. That's right. So. Where you're at your low state. Amen. Amen. If your brothers or sisters don't run under you to help you, don't let it affect you. God is faithful. That's right. That's right. I told you so, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. Amen. <laughs> You're laying there in the valley, Shadow of death. waiting to be resurrected. That's right. That's right. Oh, Listen, if God is with you, I'd rather know that God is with me than people. That's right. I'd rather know that. Give me God. Amen. Then let God raise up the people. Amen. Amen. Listen closely. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, 
I will fear no evil. Well, that shows some sign of strength and belief. Because if you're already in the valley of the shadow of death, and yet you are determined not to fear no evil, that means you are determined not to stay in that predicament. Amen. Amen. Spiritually in a slump. That's right. Spiritually messed up. Messed up. Don't even have the Holy Ghost and don't even have the will to tarry. That's right. Amen. Don't have the Holy Ghost and not even trying to seek Him. That's right. That's right. When your will is under fire, when your will is attacked, Amen. the desire, see, there's hope as mm. long as your will is there. That's right. Are you listening to me? That's right. There's hope as long as you. Why do you think the suicide rate is so high among young people? If you take away from a man or woman the will to live, they will kill themselves. That's right. That's right. When the will. Have any of you have ever been in life so depressed, so down, until you didn't care whether you lived or died? Yeah. Well, you thought about suicide. You can be in that stage spiritually. That's right. And also can commit suicide. That's right. How? Departing from God. Amen. Is suicide. suicide. That's right. Is death. That's right. He said you crucify the Lord fresh. fresh. Amen. So in that state, don't feel no presence from God. I ain't got no desire to fast. I don't want to fast. Don't know when the last time I fast. If I pray, it's just words being uttered the past time. If I come to church, I'm not there when I am there. I really want to leave, but I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I'm scared of what folk going to think of me, this, that, and the other. <laughs> Serving God must come from the heart. Amen. If anybody is here because of people, Amen. you're lost while you're here. Amen. That's right. We should be here because of God's word. That's right. Don't get along with that brother. Don't get along with that sister. But is the green pastors, can you eat? Amen. I mean, I get along with you, but I want to know, can I eat? That's it. That's right. I mean, I understand you, but can I eat? That's it. Don't like your dress. Don't like your soup. Can I eat? That's right. Don't like the way you walk or talk, but can I eat? Amen. And if I eat enough green from the pasture. That's right. I can mature spiritually. Go ahead. Then I'm able to comprehend with all things. That's right. Glory, hallelujah. Glory to God. Go ahead. Then I can comprehend. sister about someone else and yet you yourselves are not straight that's right in the valley of the shadows of death being buried alive that's right dirt wouldn't wait till you die that's constantly throwing dirt covering you go ahead that's what people do spiritually Costly, throw stuff, cover you. That's right. And you're so covered, you can't even come up. That's right. You can't even come up. Amen. You come to church and sit. Just look. Amen. Don't feel God. Don't feel no spirit. Amen. Just sit and look. Go ahead. The prophet said, can these dry bones live? Amen. Where are you at in God? Go ahead. Get out of his business. Get out of her business. Mind your own business. That's right. Talk to me. Go 
ಮಾಡಿ of a state of mind that's right to come back to life Go ahead. people can suck the strength out of you yes they can people can suck life out of you that's right people can take your hope out of you to live that's right if you don't want to live leave my life alone amen if you want to die then you die amen let me live They the fight. You want to backslide? That's you. That's right. You're not pulling me out with you. Let me walk with God. No friendship is that important. No friendship is that valuable. That's right. That you want to go to hell and I love you so much, I go to hell with you. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. If I'm in the valley, Hallelujah. Glory to God. If I'm in the valley of the shadows of death, death. covered Amen. by an atmosphere of confusion Amen. and contention. That's right. Lord, I need a resurrection. That's right. That's the time. Truly, an angel will blow a trumpet. That's right. That's true. Huh? That's right. The angel in the book of Revelation represents messenger. Yes, sir. In his right hand, he has seven stars. Seven stars, seven stars represent the angel sent to the seven churches of Asia or the preacher that's sent to speak to the people. That's right. Stars are seen at night. You can't see the sun, but the stars come out at night, which is a reflection of the greater light, which is the sun. That's right. The preacher, the message that's in the preacher reflects God. That's right. And when it reflects God, it gives hope to them that have no hope. No hope. You know, there's some folk wish you didn't have no hope. That's true. That's true. You want some folk to be happy? You be unhappy. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's true. You want some folk to be happy. Amen. You be unhappy. That's something. And then when the same people be unhappy, they reach it. Want someone to be there with them. They shoot out the lid. The book says. In Psalms 22 and verse 7. I know things aren't working on this, but this is all good. Amen. All they that see me. The book says, all they, that, all see they me, that see me, laugh me to scorn. Laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lips. They shoot out the lips. They shake the head. They shake the head. Saying he trusted on the Lord that he would deliver him. This is what they felt about Jesus. That's right. Yeah. They're just talking about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the same thing will happen to you. Amen. They shake their head. Shake their head. You trust in the Lord. <laughs> Let's see can the Lord get him out of this. Let him deliver. Him. Let's see can the Lord get her out of this. That's right. Let's see the Lord can get him out of this. Let's see the Lord can get them out of this. It is a nothing in life, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. that God cannot deliver you out of. Amen. Nothing. <laughs> Always remember that. Nothing. <laughs> Always remember nothing. Book says God is faithful. God is faithful. That's right. And will not suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able, but will with the temptation make a way for you to escape. escape. That's right. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Amen. Listen. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. What is the result? I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. For Listen thou, closely. For, for thou, thou art with me. Art with me. Notice the instruments of support. Thy rod 
I rise and I stand. Does what? They comfort me. Hold it. What is the purpose of a rod or a staff? Mm -hmm. To lean on, to bear your weight on. That's right. Huh? That's right. Thine rod and thy staff. And staff. And it's all talking about God. That's right. He's a rod and staff. And staff. He's a rod. The Bible said a rod shall come forth out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall go on the roots, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom, counsel, and might of the fear of the Lord. He is a rod. Right. He is a staff because the staff is a scepter. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a law given from between his feet until Shiloh come. That's right. And under him shall they gather the people be, binding his bones to the vine, and ashes coat to the choice vine. He washes garment in wine and his clothes in the blood of grapes. That's right. He's a rod. And a staff. Stand. Amen. Comfort. Support. That's right. When you can't find support from nobody. Amen. Fall back on God. That's right. Hallelujah. Fall back on God. That's right. You got problems smoking? Fall on God. That's right. You got drinking problems? Amen. Fall on God. That's right. You can go to the rehabilitation center and sit in a circle and just vent. Amen. Just talk. Amen. Fall on God. Let us fall now. The in, book says what? In 2 Samuel chapter 24 and verse 14. Let us fall now into the hand of the Lord. Amen. Man, you fall in the hands of the people, you'll never get out of it. That's right. And let me not fall into the hand of man. I told you. That's right. Amen. People won't treat you like God will. Amen. Because there are some people who don't value life. Amen. It's like some folks say, well, you know, brother, let me hold your car. I take, I, I take your car just like I do mine. And then when you look at that car, Amen. you were like, man, when you see a pothole, boom. That's right. You see a big bump, boom. Amen. He may say, well, you know, I'm not high-minded no way. <laughs> That's right. I mean, you don't take care of it. I, I ain't got to do with it. Amen. You understand? That's right. The Bible said, let me fall in the hands. Let us fall now into the, into hand the of hands the of the Lord. For his mercies are, are his great. His mercies are great. Not people. No. People are like Ming the merciless. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Let the mercy come from God. Amen. Don't ever marvel what comes from people. Right. Because all type of stuff will come from people. That's right. Listen. And let me not fall into the hands of man. Don't let me fall in the hands of man. Read on, Sam. Back in Psalms 23 and verse 5 now. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Now look. Even in the midst of your enemies. What is the table? Table is a place to eat. A place where we come eat and to get served. That's right. The table would be the church. That's right. Now, there's some wholesome food at a table, and there's some tables that serve vomit. Vomit. That's right. Isaiah 28 and verse 8. Says. For all tables, all tables are, are full of vomit. Full of vomit. Now, we all, you know, after the service today, we all going downstairs, and there's plenty down there to eat, so don't go running to McDonald's and all these other fast food places, and That's then right. you're trying to figure out why your child, 10 years old, 7 foot tall. <laughs> Huh? Feet look like they in snowshoes. <laughs> you know that stuff that's injected with hormones, hormones and whatnot. So when we all, you know, get out, you know, they gonna go downstairs and eat. But if just one person just sitting at the table eating and then just vomit, <laughs> it may cause a chain reaction. That's right. Nah, it may mess up some people's stomach. I say some people, because there's some folk, you can vomit and hit their lap. They're going to get their chicken. Mm, they're they, they going to take their lap. In other words, you're not gonna, you ain't going to stop them at all. Now, you're not going to slow them down. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. 
The book says what? For all tables are full of vodka. Let's go back to Psalms, brother. Back in Psalms 23, verse 5. Everybody all right? Yeah. All right. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. So amongst God's people, even though the word is prepared to be served to God's people, and even to those that are not God's people, that they may become God's people. That's right. When the word is served to them, still it is served right in the presence mm -hmm. of, enemies. of enemies. Because everyone that come to God's house, some don't love everybody. No. When you hear me sometime over the air, I greet brothers and sisters, friends, and enemies. Because I'm not naive enough to think that everybody loves us. Everybody don't love you. That's right. A lot of folk walk around. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't want. You know. I don't want no one to hate me. I, listen. Get this out of your mind. You walk around. I don't want no one to hate me. I don't want no one to talk about me. I don't want no one to do this. What you don't want gonna happen. That's right. What you do want, you do good if that come to pass. Amen. We talked about Jesus. They hate Jesus so bad they spit on him. Yeah. And then they took their teeth and started gnashing it upon him, like biting the man. That's right. That's some hatred. Yes. How you would literally bite a person's flesh just because of what they stand for. You start biting their flesh mm -hmm. and spitting on them. Lord. Listen. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You know what? You have to sometime when we're praying and doing all this stuff and whatnot, sometime our answers that we look for come right in the word. That's right. Doesn't it? Amen. How many times we've been looking for answers? Sometimes we look for answers about so many things. A lot of time it comes right in the word. That's right. If people would take the words of God and apply it to themselves, a lot of time you won't even have to knock at an office door. That's right. Cause a lot of time your answers will come right in the word, right in the message. Yes. Listen. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And then what? Thou anointest my head with oil. Oh. Amen. Lord, at this low state, you're starting to give me some oil. That's right. What do you mean? The Spirit started dealing with me now. That's right. You're anointing my head. What do you mean, anointing my head? You're starting to free up my mind. That's right. The anointing of the head is when the Spirit of God starts dealing with the mind. The first area of freedom is the freedom of the mind. When your mind is out of bondage, your heart becomes detached emotionally from the circumstance you are dealt with. When your mind is free, your heart can get free. When your heart can get free, now your body can get involved with God. Amen. Mind bound, heart bound, you just sit there. That's true. That's right. Bible said with my mind, I serve God. You need your head anointed with oil. Amen. Yes. Huh? Amen. Amen. When folks' mind get messed up, if I go to Brother Jones and tell him something about Elder Butler, Elder Jones, then all of a sudden, Brother Jones starts sitting looking at Elder Butler crazy. <laughs> messed up his mind. That's right. If he's dumb enough to let me. That's right. That's right. I'm going to talk to Sister Trish about Sister Karen. All of a sudden, Trish is going to start judging Karen based upon what I said. Besides taking her time and no caring for herself. Are you listening? Amen. So now when Trish see Karen, Karen go to shake her hand. <laughs> Don't even know her. That's right. Why? Somebody was in the ear. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. 
Amen. Your head must be anointed with oil. with oil. The anointing of the head is the deliverance of the mind. And when the mind is delivered by the word, you know, there's some folk don't bring nothing in your life but trouble. That's true. Nothing. That's right. It's like someone every, every birthday time you come, they come around in your life. They always give you a jacked up gift. <laughs> Start to wonder about people like that. Every time they give you something jacked up. You know? And then you put on this act like you appreciate it. Besides being honest and tell them, I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, be honest and tell them, I don't want that. <laughs> Is that right? Be honest. You know, like if your wife buy, if the husband buy the wife something for the birthday, you know, wife knows she can't stand it. You know. But then, you know, I don't want to hurt his feelings. So, and, oh my God. You know, she said, I only, oh my God, but within, oh my God. But, but, but what she said that you don't hear, oh my God, what was he thinking about? <laughs> what the devil is this mess? <laughs> you understand? You know, and folks should be realistic in that aspect. You, you know, you appreciate the effort. That's right. Appreciate the effort. You know, nah, that's a good way to put it. That's well, you know, right. I, I appreciate your effort. I, you know, you took the time out, you shopped around, you know, which you really didn't have to do, but you know, I can't stand what you bought. <laughs> and I hope you're not offended. <laughs> oh yeah. Amen. I was keeping it real. Now a lot of folks will say, he you unappreciative. And you know, let me tell you something. Very few people you will meet in your lifetime. That it be 100% real. Period. I mean real to the point until if, you, if they ask you, what would you do if I slap your face? And if you know you're going to slap them back, don't lie and say, well, the Bible says to turn the other cheek. You didn't ask them what the Bible said. That's right. You asked, what would you do? Amen. Is that right? Amen. I was keeping it real. But when you become that realistic, then folks say, you're trying to be too real. No, let them know. Look, I'm not going to project something that I'm not. If you slap my face, I'm going to slap you back. Right. Keep it real. That's right. You understand? Tony Harvin. He loved this program. Thank God. He, he fills this program up on his website and points the people to the truth of God.